case so let's take a look at how you can use its imaginary function to return imaginary coefficient of complex number right so let's take one empty cell and here let's try and put formula imaginary right and here if I pass on C 3 plus 2 I right okay so we have like 2 as our imaginary output as you can see similarly let's say if I return something like let's say imaginary and within that if I pass on 4 J right so what it would return is 4 and what if I don't write any complex number and simply pass on the number so in that case let's take a look at that which is 45 or C 55 and C 0 because there is no imaginary number when we just pass the real number there right so we have seen three different ways we can use imaginary function to return the imaginary coefficient of your complex number.